Hi Pisces, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love read. Let's see Pisces how you're feeling now, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And of course Pisces, these are general collective readings, will not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. My angel spirit guides, please bless this reading for Pisces and send them the messages they need to hear the most for their love life. Thank you. All right, Pisces, let's start your reading. A warm welcome back to all my subscribers. Thank you for being here once again with me. And Pisces, if you're new here, we welcome you as well. Do join us, subscribe to the channel, become part of us. We welcome you in. So, Pisces. Well, Pisces, uh, newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, your mutual energies, etc. If this is your reading, Pisces, you'll know which side you resonate best with, right? For me, well, this is going to be person A and this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, I have the three of wands. So Pisces, it seems uh, one person <laughs> seems to have turned their back on this connection, getting a little disappointed, I guess. But the other person seems to be waiting. They have something completely opposite on their mind. So let's see what's going on, Pisces. That's the first impression I've got. Um, yeah, I do, I do see one person is on the verge of walking away, feeling like there is no new beginning here. What's the point? I'm just being played for a fool once again. But the other person is actually thinking of rebuilding this, you know, tower that's happened between the two of you. Maybe they're just patiently waiting for the right time or um, on their mind is they want to heal this connection and build it back together. So... Well, before we start clarifying these cards, Pisces, let's start with some dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be. And then, of course, I'll clarify these cards for you. So, Pisces and their person spirit. Pisces and their person, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Pisces and their person. Pisces and their person spirit. Pisces and their person. Okay. And I'm going to take a few more Pisces from another deck. And if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. Pisces and their person. One second. Pisces and their person spirit. Pisces and their person last one okay good to go Pisces let's start your reading the first card here says I still have your pictures saved missing you so much we truly did have something special don't be so insecure my past of how I was raised affects how I act now in life Nothing else matters but you. I want to make things right. I did not expect you to enter my life when you did. I wasn't ready. You make me so nervous. Sometimes it's hard to breathe. I'm sorry for the mind games I played. I know it was wrong. I'm scared of losing you. And the last one here, Pisces says, I've told my family about you. Okay, so Pisces, well, these were some of your messages. And I was correct in my first thought when I said one person's almost thinking of walking away. The other person wants to make things right. So let's take an angel blessing card for you, Pisces. And then we'll start the reading. So my angels, what do you have for my Pisces gang today? as a blessing, guidance, advice, or a message for Pisces. And the card I have here for you, Pisces, is faith. 
don't lose hope uh, pisces if you're on person a side well keep the faith things can get better right but you have to keep the faith don't give up before time i guess and if you're on the other side well i do see you wanting to make things right but there's a bit of nervous energy there's a bit of fear right so well faith will be very important for both of you if you want this connection to come back together so spirit let's start with person a's energy let's see how person a is feeling and then of course we'll check on person b's side so person a what about you in your feelings you have the eight of cups what are you walking away from where are you going person a says omkara taro i am tired I'm so tired of having sleepless nights, stress, tension, nightmares, just tossing and turning in my bed all night, uh, wondering, you know, when, when will I have my Ten of Cups and now I've kind of given up hope. You're right, I don't have any faith left that this Ten of Cups can ever come about. I just want to sleep. I just want to restore my life back. I'm tired of sleepless nights. And uh, yes, I am contemplating walking away. What's the full card in reverse? Somebody feels okay. Somebody feels that they're being fooled here. Yeah, somebody feels they're being fooled here. I think person A is the one who feels I've been waiting patiently for this connection to come around, but they're just making a fool out of me. They keep lying to me. They keep running away from me. They cheat on me. They ghost me, and uh, they behave like a trickster, uh, Omkara Taro, in this connection. And till now, I haven't received any kind of substantial offer from them which makes me feel safe and secure and uh, well no promise of the future either okay what else why do you feel this way that you want to walk away what else what happened two of pentacles person a says i just don't feel it's a balanced connection i'm always going you know back and forth in my mind as much as you know i want to know the truth i want to know if we are you know, doing this again, do you think I am, you know, you are going to invest in me? I really want to be their partner. I, I, I see myself as having growth and fertility and abundance in this connection. And all I want to know is the truth. Is this chapter still open? Are we going to do this again or not? They just keep me so imbalanced and so confused. So the strength card what's the strength card yeah person a who's now actually is she this person is an empress and in the empress means they do know their worth they know what they are you know they are worth and they know that they are in a good place in their life this person can, could be abundant right now uh, at the top of their game they know their worth and um, well all this imbalance is really not working for person a uh, they are strong they are trying to now hold back maybe put up some barriers so they don't get hurt again in this connection so how do you feel about the connection now person a i do see that you got your guard up and you you know holding back or you may be thinking of walking away because you're tired of uh, you know this wishy-washy energy that person b is bringing you but how do you see them now how do you see this connection how do you feel about them uh, nine of pentacles in reverse what's the nine of pentacles in reverse Person A says, truth be told, Omkara Taro, I actually don't want to be single anymore. I don't want to be single anymore. Uh, inside my heart, I do still believe that person B is the one for me. I do love them a lot. This is my partner. This is my soulmate. And uh, well, I don't want to be single for the rest of my life, just in limbo. I want to feel this way. This is what this person is not making me feel. They've not made me feel. Earlier this card came out in reverse as the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, right? But this is person A's wish. I want to be the Queen of Pentacles upright. I want to be a partner. I want to be, you know, nurtured, cared for, just as I bring, whatever I bring to the table is what I want back for me because I know I deserve it. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. 
they want to be chosen yes person a says i just want to get out of this confusion as much as i'm walking away i'm only walking away because i've waited for too long and this person is not leveling up in actuality all i want is to be chosen i want to get out of this confusion i would love it if they would work with me and be on the same page as me i'm waiting for them i see them as my emperor i see i want them to step up and be my emperor i want to have this partnership with them and that's the naked truth okay that was quite a revelation uh person a what action you will take now towards person b or otherwise i'm going to open later let's go on to the other side and see how person b is feeling so person b you have the tower in reverse why is that why is the tower in reverse oh same card same place a uh, person b does want to rebuild they do want to rebuild they're seeing person a as really sexy and hot and fiery and uh, very very attractive they know that person a is at their a game right now and they do want to rebuild but they're feeling a they are feeling like a fool they're feeling like they're feeling a bit stuck they're feeling a bit stagnant why is that what's the temperance card what's the temperance card they're trying to be patient why the khoke the person b says you know i'm just trying to be patient om kara taro because in actuality i'm not that i'm happy being patient it's not that i i just don't want to take action it's just that i'm pretending to be really chill you know in actuality my secret revelation is that uh, well i'm really embarrassed and ashamed to even well offer them this new beginning because i feel like a fool myself so to hide my embarrassment and my shame and whatever i'm just trying to pretend hey you know i'm really cool and i'm chilled and i'm really not bothered it's just a pretense in actuality i feel like a damn fool and i really do want to rebuild who wouldn't want to rebuild with the queen of wands zoom kara taro what a silly question okay all right okay so person b why do you feel all this uh ace of swords well person b says i am absolutely crystal clear that i i, I don't just want person a i am obsessed with them i'm obsessed with them i have no doubt in my mind that uh, well this is one chapter that i don't want shut I don't want things to change. I don't want like them to change up on me. I don't want this connection to change. I, in fact, secretly hope it goes straight to the Ten of Pentacles. So, what's the Ten of Pentacles? What's the Ten of Pentacles? Okay. person b says the only problem here is omkara taro because of all the well imbalanced stuff or the non justice that's been done in the past uh, i am fearing that you know the choice or that decision by person a has already been made against me even though i know i know that i won the ten of pentacles but look at us whenever we do come back together to have any kind of communication queen of swords in reverse king of swords in reverse person b feels person a hates them and they feel that person i mean you both feel the same thing about each other but but person b is saying i don't think person a is ever going to trust me because of my past behavior of the injustice i've done to them maybe i was cold in the past i was harsh i I've, i've said some things which i really can't take back now and i fear that uh, person a has already made that decision to cut me off they could be very upset with me so you know what as much as they think i'm not interested Oh, I'm secretly obsessed with them. I'm spying on them all the time from afar, from afar, from behind the scenes. Hoping, hoping one day, one day. I mean, I'm clear on one fact that this is my forever person. 
So how do you feel about the connection now, person B? How do you see person A? How do you feel about the connection? Well, person B says, I really hope that we can sooner or later just end all these troubled times that we've had between us, Omkara Taro. I want to put them onto my little boat and we can sail off and, you know, find happiness and peace and tranquility together. Okay, clarify this card. Six of Swords, <laughs> Ace of Wands. Okay, okay, one more. What's the Ace of Wands? Okay. Person B says, I want to put things to a rest. I'm very disappointed. I'm really disappointed that I, you know, maybe in the past came across as a player to them or something. It's just that I have such uncontrollable passion for person A. I couldn't help myself. Uh, well, I'd like to start again. If we could just begin from scratch once again, I want to put all this conflict behind us, all the fighting, all the arguments. If we can just put that to rest, let's start again. Let's start brand new and, uh, well, have that happiness. Let's go the long term to reach that Ten of Pentacles. The only problem is in their, in their presence, I get very nervous. In fact, I'm petrified. I'm scared. So I keep it a secret. Why is the moon card here, person B? Why is the moon card here? Yeah, but the moon card is here because they're scared. They feel that, uh, well, they fear that um, because of maybe their past or uh, how things never worked out or maybe they had third parties or something, they fear that person A could have totally dropped them by now. Uh, maybe if they do go forward with any kind of love offer or an apology, they may be met with resistance. They feel that the Queen of Swords in reverse is very defensive maybe or uh, energetically they are pushing them away or just staying very guarded. So there is a bit of fear. Uh, this person is actually beating themselves up or judging them in anticipation of how person A is going to judge them. So that fear takes over. Okay, so let's see what actions you guys will take. I'm going to, Pisces, take another deck for this one. And uh, well, most of you know the cue by now. This is my time to request you. If you could just tap that like button for me, please. Really helps the videos to circulate. And yes, makes me feel very happy to know how many of you I connected with today. And uh, newcomers, when you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that little notification bell. That way then YouTube can notify you when new videos are released. Thank you. So person A, action from your end towards person B or otherwise. Two of swords. Well, that's what person B is uh, scared about, right? This is like having an armor on your chest and saying, I don't want to see anything. I don't want to believe anything. I, I don't want uh, them to touch my heart. So I'm going to guard my heart with these two swords. Uh, this is like being a bit defensive, I would say. Person A may not realize it, but they are giving off that maybe feeling that, you know, touch me not. Uh, two of swords, two of swords in your action, as your action, two of swords. Or maybe it's just person A doesn't know which direction to take this now. The sun, wow. Page of swords, you're both spying on each other. You're both spying on each other. I think person A is waiting for an apology. 
I don't think person A is going to move themselves even though they know they know that person B is the one who can make them really 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 happy so person A is also quietly spying on person B uh, maybe through social media maybe through tarot readings maybe just you know down the hallway or something uh, wishing and hoping that this person would return back to them and if they did it would make them really happy really really happy there's a deep attraction that person a also has towards person b they would love it if things came back into justice and balance and whatever but at the moment person a is kind of at the end of their line to say i'm tired of doing this all by myself i'm carrying all the weight of this connection so i'm going to sit pretty right now and i'm not going to make a move but yeah i secretly do wish and hope that they return back they return back and maybe well apologize to me or whatever so okay person b what about you any action from your end towards person a or otherwise person B chariot but in reverse why why is the chariot in reverse don't you go want to go chasing after person A why are you feeling so blocked is it just that you're scared chariot in reverse eight of pentacles hanged man magician okay so this person may not actively be, i mean they do hope they, i mean i saw it here as well they do hope for this uh, you know conflict to end and you guys can move on to a peaceful place or whatever i don't think this person has made a move yet they do want to work towards a brand new beginning right they want they are hoping that the past can be dead absolutely so that a new chapter can begin they are willing they are ready they want to put the work in this person could be trying to figure out how to make this work right now they're trying to see things from different perspectives they're trying to maybe manifest this from behind the scenes or just praying or manifesting uh, i don't see much action either because they are nervous or they're figuring out how i can get this back this person is going through a bit of enlightenment regarding this connection it seems give me three more uh, person b give me three more why are you not making a move why are you just hanging in there in the magician energy page of swords energy is that all we can expect this week two of cups tower okay it's hit them like a ton of bricks Ah, uh, this person will come forward, and when they do come forward, they're coming in correct, right? This person is going to suddenly, suddenly take action. They say uh, they are going through that deep realization that person A is their one. This is my two of cups. This is the one I want forever. Um, just thinking about person A, I think makes their heart sing. Uh, they are coming into that enlightenment, and it's it's shocking to them that. how deeply they they feel towards person a this person will not just come across and take action for a very very passionate time but this time they're going to come in correct as the king of pentacles i mean yes i want you i'm attracted to you and i you know want fun times with you but then i'm also going to step up and i'm going to be that provider that a uh, long time long term partner i want to take responsibility of this connection so to come back as their whole self i think there's a bit of preparation that person b has to do whether it's spiritually emotionally maybe financially because they are working towards it okay so keep the faith i think uh, a little bit of waiting period that's about it this person is preparing to charge back i think All right. So that's all I have for you Pisces. Till next time then. Love and light. Take care. Namaste.